so now uh, I would like David Jeske, uh, who I think is a co-host. Um, David, I forget it. You're you're going to share your screen, right? Yes. Let okay. Me, thank you. Uh, unmute my video and. Uh, okay, and um, we're just a little behind time here. Uh, one of the things that we're good, we, after David, we have a few more projects, and we're going to try to play the fuller game again with them, and then we're going to go on to the next part of the conference. So thank you, everybody. Is everybody seeing my slide deck here? Yes, sir. All right. So good morning. I'm here to tell you about Math Tablet. Uh, oops, I mean Euler Notebook. We changed the name recently. Why the new name? Well, Math Tablet was a placeholder until we could think of something better. A more specific name makes us much easier to find in search results. But why name it after 18th century Swiss mathematician? Well, on a scale of one to Chuck Norris, Euler rates a Chuck Norris plus one. Seriously, Euler was one of the most prolific and eminent mathematicians of all time. Uh, Euler Notebook is an intelligent, collaborative, stylus-oriented notebook app for math and science. Let's break that down. It's, a notebook app is pretty self-explanatory. It's a web-based web application that allows you to edit and share electronic documents referred to as notebooks. For math and science, this is not a notebook for personal growth journaling or doodling. This is a notebook for writing math proofs, proofs and solving math problems possibly as applied to science or engineering. The features and user interface are oriented toward these activities. Stylus oriented. Mathematicians love their chalkboards, whiteboards, pencils, and paper. There is something very natural about writing formulas and drawing diagrams as opposed to using a keyboard and mouse. Although there are many powerful math programs available, people still do a lot of math with pencil and paper because it's such a suitable tool for the job. However, styluses are increasingly common on tablets and laptops, and machine learning has made great progress in handwriting recognition. So we think the time is right for stylus-based math to make the transition from the analog world to the digital world. Collaborative. Like Google Docs, people can share their notebooks with others and see in real time the changes that other users are making. People have come to expect this from their cloud-based apps. And it opens up opportunities to use uh, Euler notebooks for team projects, tutoring, review, and evaluation. Intelligent, Euler notebook will recognize your handwriting, turn, turning chicken scratches into beautifully typeset mathematics. It will let you search for formulas and physical constants in online references and drag them into your notebooks. It will perform all the calculations you would expect from an advanced scientific calculator. It'll plot functions beautifully. It will check that your formulas are dimensionally valid and consistent. It will suggest an equivalent formulas and solutions to your formulas. It will check the validity of your proofs. And the level of helpfulness will be adjustable to serve pedagogical purposes. So who is going to use Euler Notebook? Initially, it would be tech savvy, early adopter, math enthusiasts oddballs like Rob and myself that actually enjoy learning math in our free time. Then it might be adopted by math tutors. The collaborative capabilities make it an ideal tool for online tutoring. It should also be a great homework tool for students in algebra and above. Math teachers and professors could eventually use it with their classes. And ultimately, we hope it is use, helpful and useful to people that do math in their professional careers. Regarding the implementation status, we have a website running in the cloud. There are user accounts that have hierarchical folders of notebooks. Notebooks and folders can be shared with other users or made public. Multiple users can edit a notebook at the same time. You can write with a stylus or mouse into the notebook. You can insert, delete, and rearrange cells. You can search Wolfram Alpha for formulas or physical constants. You can export uh, notebooks as PDF files. Other things that we have successfully implemented but are not currently in the app, uh, that are just awaiting uh, integration, are uh, recognizing handwritten formulas and converting them into typeset, typeset mathematics using uh, MyScript and other libraries, and also plotting formulas and generating solutions using Mathematica. David? Yeah? There's, isn't there some Python notebook facility that uh, mimics this? Uh, let me get uh, back to your question in just a second. Okay. Um, just to conclude, I don't want 
to leave you with the impression that the app is anywhere close to usable. All of the features I've mentioned are in a rudimentary state. There's a lot of work to be done to get to the minimum viable product stage. I am working on this project about half time. Rob and I occasionally have hackathons where we sprint to get a bigger feature working. We are looking for programmers interested in contributing to the project and uh, testers. We will open it up for testing and early adopters when the time is right. If you're interested in um, any of that, please let Rob or me know. Thank you for listening. And that is the end of the presentation. So um, now let me get back to your question. What was the question? It was about Jupyter Notebooks, I think. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, uh, Jupyter Notebooks uh, is something um, I'm uh, definitely keeping an eye on. It's uh, kind of an open source version of Mathematica. Um, that uh, the big difference between that and what we're trying to accomplish is that isn't stylus oriented. Um, that is very key keyboard and mouse oriented, um, and uh, ours is uh, trying to. Uh, use the naturalness of the stylus uh, with mathematics on the computer. Okay, thank you, David. Um, I have to hurry things along here. Um, you, if you wanna talk more, maybe David can hang out and you can chat with him.